coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. The ultimate RC Hilo. NASA's Mars helicopter phones it in. Also new heavy VTOL UAV 150H unveiled. And surf air mobility to acquire Ampere. Welcome to the Air News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUBSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode today, so let's go ahead and start with the ultimate RC Hilo. NASA Mars helicopter phones it in. Mission controllers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California have received the first status report for the Ingenuity Mars helicopter, which landed on February 18th at Jezero Crater attached to the belly of the agency's Mars 2020 Perseverance rover. The downlink, which arrived at 16.30 Eastern Time via connection through the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, indicates that both the helicopter, which will remain attached to the rover for 30 to 60 days, and its space station are operating as expected, ensuring that Ingenuity has plenty of stored energy aboard to maintain heating and other vital functions while also maintaining optimal battery health, is essential to the success of the Mars helicopter. The one-hour power-up will boost the rotorcraft's batteries to up to 30% of its total capacity. A few days after that, they'll be charged again to reach 35%, with future charging sessions planned weekly while the helicopter is attached to the rover. Like much of the four-pound rotorcraft, the six lithium-ion batteries are off the shelf. They currently receive recharges from the rover's power supply. Once Ingenuity is deployed to Mars' surface, the helicopter's battery will charge solely by its own solar panel. Coming up, Eagle researchers receive FAA grants to assure drone safety. I'll tell you how much they're receiving after the break. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at swiftfuelsavgas.com. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Eagle researchers receive FAA grants to assure drone safety. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University researchers receive four FAA grants this month to assess the risks and help develop safety protocols for UAS, as they are increasingly integrated into such uses as package delivery and aerial taxi services. The grants, totaling about $500,000, are intended to advance FAA efforts to integrate UAS safety and efficiency into our nation's airspace system, ultimately delivering new transportation and solutions and economic benefits for the American people, said Acting U.S. Secretary of Transportation Stephen Bradbury. Aqualine Drones promotes Made in America UAV product line. Aqualine Drones is attempting to meet the increasing demand for Made in America drones by operating the first drone manufacturing and assembly plant in Connecticut. The Hartford-based aviation cloud solutions provider and commercial drone manufacturer now produces drone Volts Ultra Genith and Hercules 2 drones, rebranded by AD as the Spartacus lines of drones, Spartacus Max and Spartacus Hurricane. 15th Northrop Grumman resupply mission launches to ISS. 
A Northrop Grumman Cygnus resupply spacecraft is en route to the International Space Station with approximately 8,000 pounds of science investigation and cargo after launching at 12.36 Eastern Time on Saturday from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia. About three hours after the launch, the spacecraft's solar array successfully deployed to collect sunlight to power Cygnus on its journey to the space station. Northrop Grumman's 15th cargo flight to the space station is the fourth under the Commercial Resupply Services to contract with NASA. Flint Hills and UAV Navigation partner up. Flint Hills Solutions and UAV Navigation are entering into a strategic partnership to work together in North America to integrate their joint technologies onto the FH-900 series fully autonomous VTOL UAS helicopter. The combined capabilities of the two companies represents the development of the next generation UAS that will demonstrate a heavy lift, long endurance, open payload, integration capability. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. New heavy VTOL UAV 150H unveiled. Fresh Veil Limited released their new heavy VTOL UAV 150H. The unmanned helicopter heavy VTOL UAV 150H successfully performed tests by delivering 150 kilogram cargo to 130 kilometers, demonstrating safe autonomous flight and economical fuel consumption. The mission was completed by the crew of two persons only, operator and technician. Also, Freshvale Limited has verified this performance was carried out in the harsh environmental conditions of mountainous areas. Heavy VTOL UAV 150H is developed for continuous autonomous flight with maximum endurance up to 8 hours, being able to cover over 800 kilometers in diverse weather conditions. Being based on commercial CH-7 helicopter, Heavy VTOL UAV 150H provides an affordable OPEX and CAPEX. In such a factor, along with reliable performance, simple and easily accessible maintenance repair, the man-to-unmanned technology has significantly reduced the cost of the UAV while retaining a payload capacity of 150 kilograms and a flight time up to 8 hours. After the break, I'll explain why Surf Air Mobility is acquiring Ampere. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Surf Air Mobility to acquire Ampere. Surf Air Mobility has entered into a definite agreement to acquire hybrid electric aviation technology pioneer Ampere. The addition of Ampere's proprietary hybrid electric powertrain technology is a critical component in Surf Air Mobility's plan to dramatically improve the affordability, accessibility, and environmental footprint of aviation, beginning with regional travel. The applications for the unmanned and autonomous industry are also considerable. Ampere is creating hybrid electric powertrains for existing popular aircraft, aimed at upgrading a first-generation fleet of vehicles focused on 9-19-seat piston and turboprop aircraft. These are tens 
of thousands of aircrafts eligible for this type of powertrain upgrade worldwide. Surf Air Mobility intends to make hybrid electric powertrain upgrades available to fleet owners on and off its consumer platform, as well as license its technology to original equipment manufacturers for new aircraft types. Extending the availability of electric technology will accelerate the industry's path to zero emission travel. Surf Air Mobility and Ampere intend to drive further advances towards fully electric aircraft with the goal of significantly reducing direct carbon emissions. Transitioning to electric aircraft could also reduce fuel costs by up to 90% according to the World Economic Forum, as well as lower maintenance expense and noise. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. You can also catch us on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.